All right, everybody. Hey, it's Hikaru. I'm back again. Uh, I'll be streaming my Pro Chess League match tonight. So, um, again, as always, when I come on, just just make just if you guys are here, just let me know if this, there are any issues with the sound or what's going on exactly. I think it should be good, but just uh, as always, just let me know. So, um, yeah. So, so all right, you guys. Um, all right. I still don't see anyone in the chat. Um, maybe now there's someone. Maybe. Anyway, we'll see. Okay, so yeah, I just want to see if you guys say the sound is good or it's not good or, you know, whatnot, all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, so so it should be starting in like five minutes, Approach Chess League. Um, I think this is the final match, so um, it should, should, be, should be pretty good. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll see. So, so yeah. But, um, okay, so yeah, I see someone says audio level is good. It's, it's great. That's fine. Uh, I couldn't stream the last match, you guys, because I was in Moscow. It was all around. It was all pretty insane. And even, even the connection was pretty terrible. So I was very lucky I didn't get disconnected during a couple of my games. But I uh, found a way to make it work. So, um, so, so, so yeah. And, um, okay, what was that sound? Yeah. Uh, someone just... Yeah, uh, who, uh, yeah, BJH13, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, so as, as I was saying, guys, sorry before before I before I caught that that um that that that, that sub. Um, I was in Moscow. I got in at like two a.m. Um, then I then I played at like five a.m. Then I had some blitz at ten, and the connection just wasn't very good. So I, I really was fortunate not to get disconnected at all. But um, it, you know, I made it work at any rate. So so yeah, so it's uh, back to the Pro Chess League fi final. Uh, Final final match, I believe. I don't know if we can qualify or not. I'm going to assume we can't, but I'm not actually sure. So you know, we'll see. But at any rate, uh, I'm just going to get ready for the game. I for, I think I forget who I'm playing to start. I know it's, they're Chinese guys, so um, you know, have to beat them down. Hopefully, uh, who who can root for the Chinese? Um, but anyway, so so yeah. I also, I think, though, the Chinese team has done very well, so I think they're going to make the playoffs regardless of what happens, if I'm not mistaken, but um, but we'll see. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, just going to be... I think it starts in about three minutes, so I just came on a little bit early, make sure everything's good. It's It seems like it's fine, so... So, yeah, so it should be good. Now, I mean, the only question I was wondering is if I had had not um, had not a uh, loss, that would be a problem. And I see Hari Shiva says Senator Nakamura. I, is that supposed to be a joke on um? Is that supposed to be a joke on uh, Marco Rubio when he he gave the Republican response to State of the Union or something, or um, is that just a general remark that I'm trying to be too diplomatic? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure because I, 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 if, if you could respond to that, Hari Shiva, because I'm kind of because I'm kind of not sure which one it is. If it's me grabbing the water like Marco Rubio, or if you're, you just think I'm like being being cool or something. But any, anyway, anyway. Um, Absolutely, says Hikaru. Have you made Nutella crepes recently? Do you own a pancake hot plate or do you use a frying pan? Uh, I don't own either of those. I have not had a Nutella crepe, I think, ever in my entire life. I mean, the closest I've come, I've, I've really never been a big fan of Nutella um, just in general. I mean, I think, I, I think I, I've seen like Nutella pizzas, like dessert pizzas or something weird like that at some, some, some hipster places, but... Um, but uh, in, in general, uh, I'm not a big I'm not a big crepes pancakes kind of guy in general. So it's just not my thing. Uh, I feel like that's you know just you know bad calories, empty calories more importantly, and you know that's just just not my thing really. So I'm just not a not 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 a I'm not a big sweet guy a sweet guy, and I really uh, I just don't like pancakes and crepes any of that stuff. I mean there was some time maybe I think uh, during like freshman uh, I think it was the initiation before. Before college began, when I think I, I think I did like a pancake eating contest, and I mean that was just like the worst thing ever for me. So um, <laughs> I'm just not a big fan, that's for sure. Um, I mean pancakes just aren't my aren't, aren't my thing. So um, yeah. Um, all right, so let's see. So still waiting on the on the game to start. Um, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see, see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I mean, pancakes just aren't, aren't my thing in general. I'm just not, just not a huge pancake kind of guy. I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, pancake eating sounds terrible. I mean, it's it's no different than a hot dog eating contest. It's like you, you start eating and then you just have to you, you have to you, you just have to keep downing water along with the pancakes to try and make it like have some kind of flavor so it's not so bland. I mean, that's the problem. It's like hot dogs. You do the same thing. I mean, you, you like you put water with the bun and then you eat the hot dog and, and all this stuff. Um, but but um, yeah, so <laughs> just just not my thing at any rate. But but thanks thanks for reminding me of of the the long long past um okay i heard a noise but i don't see a game having started um why i heard a sound okay let me reload this quickly you guys maybe there's something wrong with the uh ah there we go okay i think there might be a bug with chess chess.com i've had that happen a few few times so chu rutong okay i'll play something i don't know how stable i want to be against this guy stable unstable just uh figure it out at any rate but um, we'll, we'll see. So, um, any eating contest sounds great, gross, to be honest. I mean, some are okay. I mean, I've, I, I did really well in this one, uh, in Seattle back in the day, this, uh, I think it was, uh, it was chicken wings. They had bones in them. I mean, I, I was, I was really good. I was trying to win these Beyonce tickets. Um, but, uh, unfortunately I came in second. I, I did pretty well though. I think it was like 10 minutes and I did like, was it a little over two pounds? I think, I think it was something like that if I remember correctly. So, um, yeah, but that, that was a long time ago. So I'm going to play Grunfeld against this guy, see what he wants to do. It could be a bad, bad idea, but we'll see. So we'll see. Anyway, let's see what he wants to do. So still nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll pay attention to the conversation, kind of, but again, please, please don't like put moves in here or anything. That would be, uh, I mean, that, I, first of all, I, I mean, that would be kind of illegal for me to see see moves, but secondly, just it, it's not not helpful. So refrain from saying moves. I mean, opening, just saying like an opening. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I might actually play it. Like I saw someone said a Benko or something, but, um, but anyway, the dude's dude's thinking here, so I don't know what there is to think about, but he's thinking about something. Um, so yeah, all right, you guys, well, I'm going to start putting on some music. I'll still have, I'll still be paying attention to the chat if he's just like not going to move at all, but I mean, I, I'm not sure. So we'll see, but anyway. So Bishop F4, okay, so I'll play Bishop G7. Yeah, so anyway, all right, so guy's taking a lot of time here, which is kind of uh, surprising. I mean, maybe he's just not expecting me to play this. I mean, I don't know. Uh, someone said, did you see the Webster windmill cheating of Thalia versus the chess bras? Uh, I didn't see that. I mean, I haven't been paying close attention to the uh, Pro Chess League. I mean, I saw some of Magnus's games. I think it was Super Saturday after I played. But uh, other than that, like, I haven't, I mean, I don't generally, like, follow if it's on other days or things. So, so yeah. But anyway, I, I don't know who Thalia is or what, what all that was, but, but anyway. Okay, so Knight of Three, so I'll castle. Probably he'll play E3 here, I would assume. Okay, plays Rook C1. Um, I know DC4 is a move here, but I, I don't feel like going to theory because I don't actually know how good this guy is. If he's like 2100 or he's like 2500. So I'll probably choose to play something more solid here. Um, let me try to remember the theory a little bit. I mean, I can play c6. I can also, I think, I can take for sure. But I just, I, I'm going to do, I'll just be solid because I don't, I don't really know what this guy's rating is and what he's going to play for. So I'll just, I'll just keep it solid and simple and um, and see what he wants to do. I mean, I think bishop b6 was also a move as well.
So e3. I mean, I know bishop e6 is a move here. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but eh, why not? Let's see. What, let's see. Let's see what he wants to do. So again, any 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 uh, any questions are always welcome, of course. But uh, yeah. Uh, again, Z Fox. I mean, no no comments like that, please. Uh, I mean, I do have something in mind, and oddly enough, he does it. <laughs> so um, so you'll get you'll get an answer to your question, but those sorts of questions, it's better off not to uh, just not to ask those at the at the moment. So. He'll probably play f3, I would assume. f3 or bishop b2. Queen b3 is possible, but then I have h6 hitting the knight, so I don't really expect queen b3. So, we'll see. But, at any rate... So it goes knight f3, which is really, or she or he, I don't know if this is a guy or, or a girl, um, but so knight f3, so this is just kind of weird just to lose a tempo and give me this pin. So I feel like I need to try and take advantage. So I'm going to go queen b6, hit the pawn on b2. And now queen b3, I can also take on f3 as well. So I don't know if this is, maybe there's no way to take advantage of this weird loss of a tempo, but I feel like trying to put some pressure on immediately. Oh, so someone says Anaka is doing the old neck stretch. I'm actually, I put some music on you guys, so uh, so I'm just bobbing my head to the music. I kind of expect queen b3, but b3 maybe? Queen b3 is the only move that seems really logical, unless you're going to maybe take on d5. But again, b2 is hanging, so I would expect queen b3, but maybe something else. So we'll see. But but again, very slow play by uh, by or or maybe it says has reconnected. Maybe they got disconnected. I don't know. At any rate, not sure. Um, so, um, Mr. P86 says you lost weight at Jim Hikaru. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Maybe. Um, it's always possible, certainly. Uh, but anyway, so Queen B3. So now I can, now I'm going to take on F3. I'll pre-move AB6 in case she takes on B6. Maybe takes F3 is there. I expect Queen B6, but... Who knows? Anything's possible. Oh, Chess says last time you streamed, I donated, I donated you six dollars for Blue City Deli, but you didn't see it, and it feels bad. Uh, well, sorry, Chess, that I didn't, uh, I didn't see the six dollar donation. Um, that must, I just must not have heard that, but um, I'll try to get to Blue City, or uh, yeah, I'll try to get to the uh, Blue City Deli in um, in uh, in April when I go back for the uh, for the U.S. Championship. So I'll try to get out there. It's a good, it's a good place actually for those of you guys who've uh, who've never been to uh, St. Louis. If you get the chance, it's uh, it's a good place. They have good good sandwiches. Big fan. Ah, and Chess says, we'll have a Muffaletta race. I do love a good Muffaletta, but I have to say, the Muffalettas in St. Louis are, aren't, aren't as good as the ones they have in, uh, in uh, New, New, New Orleans. So, um, I'm, I'm not sure. But we'll see at any rate.
And uh, someone said, uh, Prime Shoe says, I guess you're listening to either Linkin Park or Metallica. Um, I'm not actually. Uh, I'm listening to, uh, which, what am I listening to? I'm listening to, is it Two Steps From Hell, I think? Yes, Two Steps From Hell. I, I like a few of their songs. I, I feel like it's good, it's good, like, pump-up kind of music. It gets, gets, the, it gets you, like, it gets you, like, feeling pumped up. Let me put it that way. That's the best, best way of putting it, I would say. So, um, so yeah. And chess base, or what was that about Florida? Oh yeah, Squatchy says, what's your home base in Florida? I'm in Fort Lauderdale right now, so, or Sunrise to be more precise. Um, uh, so Bishop E5, sorry you guys, one second, I do kind of need to focus here for a second, Knight Bd7, because if F4 is played, the bishop's locked in, like you have this, these pawns, so maybe then I can like move a rook, Bishop Knight, and play like F6 or something, but I don't know. At any rate, Bishop E5 is not the best move, that, that much is, is for sure. So, um, so yeah, so sorry, you guys. So yeah, so right now I'm in Sunrise, which is a, like basically kind of a sub, sub city, I would say, of uh, Fort Lauderdale. So just chilling. The weather's great here. I came back from New York yesterday, so it's just fantastic. No, no, uh, no, no, uh, no snow, no rain, no bad weather. Just, just, uh, just a bunch of sunshine and it makes me feel good. Come on, come on, dude, man, this person is super slow. Assuming they're not disconnected. I'm assuming they're not disconnected and they're just thinking, but I'm not actually sure. Santiago says, are you going for some truck driver vibes with the beard mustache plus Red Bull cap? Um, I wasn't really thinking about it, um, <laughs> but that's an interesting way of putting it. Uh no, I mean, so I think someone, someone, someone made the joke. They said I would look good with James Harden's beard. So I'm, I'm like, I'm like half tempted to try and grow it out before the U.S. championship. But I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think I'm going to look like James Harden. And the last thing I want to do is look, look, look terrible with a beard the, the way that Amon does. I mean, that would just be disgraceful. So I don't know what's going on. They, 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 I don't know, is Chu Rutong just, like, disconnected or something? I, I don't really get it, but, um, anyway, someone said the beard looks good. I don't know, like, it's always, it's always a toss-up. So, I mean, ha some people think it, think it looks, looks good. Some, some girls say, well, I look great with the beard. Other girls think I look hideous with a beard. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's like a bit of everything. I just don't know what the reality is. I think everyone has their own own opinion. I think some people said also I look a lot older with a beard, whereas without a beard I look a lot younger. So I don't know if that's a good thing, you know. I, I, as far as I as far as I know, girls always think you look better um, if you look uh, you look a little bit older, more refined, you know, better than, than looking like you're 12 years old or something. So uh, just just put putting that out there. So c5, okay. So trying to lock up the structure. So if I go b6, uh, she has bishop a6. So I think. I could play knight e8 or bishop f8. I'm just trying to think. I think I'm going to go bishop f8. So now I'm threatening to move the knight and play f6. And if she takes, then b6, a5 should be a lot better without the bishop on the board versus playing knight e8. Like, I also had knight e8, and then I could have had two knights on the board, but it feels like the bishop is better for playing some kind of b6, a5 here. So bishop d3, so I could play b6 here now. Looks b6, b4, a5, knight, a4 is the threat. But am I really that concerned? Let's see. Or I could play a5. I think I'm going to play a5 here because on knight a4, I can play knight d7, and then I'll follow it up with rook b8, b6, or b5, one or the other. Probably rook a b8, because if I play rook c b8 and b5, then after c b6, c6 is hanging. So probably rook a b8, keep the rook on c8 to protect c6. King a2, so I'll play rook a b8. Idea is to play b6 and 
takes and put pressure on these double B pawns. All right, this. Uh, sorry, you guys. My uh, I was getting too too scratchy and itchy with the cap on, so I'm just going to take it off. Um, so yeah, let's see. This is pretty hard to win. I'm I'm only very slightly better, maybe you could say, but it's. It's very equal, but of course, due to the time situation, I feel like I'm probably gonna get some 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 winning, winning chances. Um, so we'll see. And thank you for the uh, the donation. Max sixteen fifty eight, I think it was. Ah, rook a one, rook a one. So on b five, she wants to win the a five pawn for the b three pawn. I really don't want to... I'm going to try to put my bishop on c7 and avoid playing b5 because, I I, I mean, I want to keep this uh, f as far from being simplified as I can due to the time situation. Um, so it's not so much about being precise, it's about trying to keep pieces on the board and confuse her. And then at the right moment when she's down to like a minute or 30 seconds or something, then I can... Then I'll go for something, go for complications. So rook c1, so bishop d8 to cover the square. And also it's worth noting b4 is never really possible. So a5 actually prevents white from going b4, b5, and, and all that jazz. So rook c3, I'll play bishop c7. F6, E5 is, an, is one idea that I have here. It's not the only one. Although I just realized she might have B4, takes Rook B3, but then I got Bishop A5. And the Knight actually is terribly placed on A4 here. So we'll we'll see. I mean, I'm like, dude, she's so slow. I don't even really understand what's going on. It's just weird. Is she just lagging? Must be must be lagging is my guess. That's my guess. I, I mean, I don't really. I mean, I don't really get how else you get this long. I mean, it's just like every move is like. One minute or something. Uh, thank you, Course Course Oblivion, for the uh, five dollar donation. Hey, what's up? Can I? Can you please be 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 unban? Can I please be unban? Uh, I don't know. Does someone uh, the chess bay ban you or something? Little bit confused, but anyway, thank you for the donation. So B4 is played, so I'll take Rook A3, Rook B3, sorry. I'll play Bishop A5. And now the point is this knight's dominated by this pawn. So like knight B6 is playable, but I just take and then I take and I'm just B4 will fall, but I'll just be up a pawn. So um like uh, come on dude, your time's getting low. Like Wow. So slow. So it takes now here, I don't know. I can place takes rook b4 and like knight d7, rook a7, rook c7, bishop a6. It's probably good, but I feel like she's got no time. So I'm going to play rook a8 and try to exchange the rooks. And the material will be even, but she's going to have these terrible double b pawns that can't do anything. And I assume she's going to take. If she doesn't take, I've got rook a4 protecting the pawn on b4. Um... Okay, so she does take, so I'll take. She'll take on b4. 
Now I could try rook a1, rook h1, but then there are probably some rook a4, rook a7 tricks possibly. Um, so I feel like I could, I might just want to bring my king, like king f8, e7, d6, c5, king c5, and then just pick up this pawn on b6. That's one idea. Also, there are very few moves for white here, so I might as well just play this slow. So f3, so she wants to play e4. e4 doesn't really concern me that much, so I'm just going to put the rook on a1. e4, I'm going to play f5, just lock up the pawns, and now f4 is a weakness. So takes, now I could take with the E or G pawns, roughly the same, I mean, I'll take with the E pawn simply because if I take the G pawn, E5 is never really a possibility. King F2, I'm just going to bring my king closer now. And I also have knight F8, knight E6 coming now as well. So this is also very, very nice. B3, knight E6. Hit the pawn on d3. And now, of course, only she's moving really fast, which is kind of funny. So I'll go rook a2. If rook b3, I just pick up the pawn. If bishop d1, I take. And now b6 is falling. And, and basically, all of white's pawns are terribly placed. So, so bishop b3. So I'm going to go for the flash tactics. If it doesn't lose, it does not. So I'm going to throw on a check. Pick up the pawn with the fork. And, okay, so it takes knight f4 and it's just game over. All, all these dark square pawns and the bishop... Is completely outside of the pawn chain so it's completely hemmed in here by all the pawns so that's a very that was that was like too easy i was i was waiting for the warm-up game and that just went like i don't know that was too simple so anyway that's one down so three more to go i guess um i mean rook g2 wasn't necessary but i mean it, it seemed like a reasonable move so um Anyway, anyway, so that's that's one down. So three three more to go. Um, so yeah, all right. So, okay, so one down. Um, someone says, well, I streamed the, uh, someone said, well, I streamed the can, or Alex Gabrielle said, will, will you stream the candidates? Uh, so I, don't, I don't plan on doing that. I mean, I feel like spending six hours commentating on chess for me is, uh, is way too much. Um, I mean, I could, I could do something like one hour, maybe just like a recap of a day of the day or a game or something, but like to actually go and, uh, like do live commentary, that would just like, that would kill me. I, I just, I couldn't do that. Six hours of comment commentating on chess would be like, that would be the death of me. That really would be. Um, so, so no, I, I won't, I might do like an hour or something. Well, we'll see, but I mean, a lot's going to depend. I mean, when does it even start? I haven't, I haven't actually looked. Let, let, let me check quickly. Um, it starts uh when does it start starts march 10th is what march 7th oh man yeah that, that timing is just terrible i mean i'm probably going to be in california in a few days just like on total vacation no chess or anything so um <coughs> it's, it's fairly unlikely uh thank you no limit for the uh for the cheer awesome explanations and dot 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 so, anyway. So, yeah. All right. All right. So, I mean, I feel like I'm going to be waiting here. For, uh, games are every 40 minutes or 45 minutes. I, I don't even know, honestly. But um, let, me, let me just pull up Chess TV to see what's... Uh, or. Let me see what's going on here. Anyway, I see we're up one and a half half, so um So yeah. Uh Fife's nineteen nineteen says uh says 
Eric is going to knock a hunt, though. I mean, I'm probably not going to be around. If, I, if I'm in California, I don't know why I would spend time playing chess, honestly. I mean, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're in, you know, in, in the Bay Area or even, you know, down in Santa Monica, I mean, there are so many better things to do with your time than, than be online playing chess. So um, I would say it's very unlikely that I'll be streaming or even online probably because, again, it's California, man. There's no reason to, to be on a computer when you're in Cali. So... Uh, pretty unlikely, to say the least. But, um, anyway, <laughs> I see some people are making fun saying Bay, B-A-E. Um, yeah, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to be in California. I, I don't know when. I, I don't have my ticket yet. I mean, we'll see. But, um, uh, Eric... <laughs> Eric Hansen is a is a, is a babe says uh, says you could say the same thing about Florida <laughs> laugh out loud what um, yeah but it's first of all it's it's the evening secondly this is where I live so I I mean I'll I'll I'll, I'll go down to to Miami Beach sometime this week I'm probably or or I'll head, head over to Fort Lauderdale and Los Olas something like that but. Um, but yeah, I just mean like this is where I live. So like go, going out and doing something else wouldn't really be that different or that strange. But like if you're if you're on vacation, you're in California. I mean, really, it's California. Like I mean, that's that's not where you go to spend time online. Um, so yeah, I mean maybe, but but we'll see at any rate. I'll I'll let you guys know. Um, Chester, it's a stream beach. Yay, sun on stream. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, would be, uh, that would be funny. So, again, as Osteogenesis Imperfecta says, how long are you going to be in Cali? I'm not sure. I mean, I might be in California on no M March 11th. I might be there on March 13th. I, I don't have my ticket yet. I'm, I was going to take care of it tomorrow, so I'll figure it out. Um, Robin Honey says, yeah, I, I get I get you. I live an hour from the Keys, but I only go like twice a year. Yeah, I mean, I go a few more times than that to Key West. But, I mean, the thing with Key West is that it feels like it's a place you go for a whole day and then you come back. And, I mean, go, going from Fort Lauderdale it takes takes four hours, so it's a, it's a bit of a drive. And I don't mind driving. I mean, I've done some, some legendary drives uh, cross-country, but... Um, but, but still like it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a, it's a bit, a bit much to go to drive four hours both ways and, and like one day. And then if you go at the wrong time of the year, hotels are super expensive down in Key West. So, um, I mean, I go a few times a year, but, but yeah. E-Dog says, Hikaru, do you actually live in Seattle? I'm probably going to UW next year. Well, first of all, go UW all the way, baby. Um, but no, at the moment I'm I'm living in Florida. I lived in Seattle in 2009 and the first half of uh, was it 2010 I believe it was or maybe it was just 2009. But but anyway, I was out there and actually I lived in Green Lake, which was which is pretty close to uh, to university and to, to where the University of Washington is. So um, yeah, it was a good time when I was out there and um, I I haven't been back that much lately, but I'll get back there again sometime soon. Um, So, yeah, I mean, go Huskies all the way, baby, all the way. Um, so someone, someone just said, what, what did they just say? Did they said, is, is that a green screen or an orange screen? I'm confused. Um, anyway, I, I guess what I would say about, um, about California, since that seems to be the topic at the moment of the day, is uh, it's a great place to visit a few times. Um, I, I personally prefer Southern California quite a bit more. Um, a huge fan of Santa Monica, especially. I, I just I just love being out there. Um, Venice, Venice, Venice is also pretty decent too. But um, I, I just really like like uh, SoCal a lot. I, I mean, Bay Area is also great, of course. Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, like San Francisco is good, but the problem is the city itself. It's it's a little bit you know grungy. I would say there there are a fair amount of homeless people. It's not not the most exciting city to be in. When you when you get outside, you go to any of the uh, any of the suburb cities. You know like Burling uh, Burling Game or um, uh, what else like uh, Sunnyvale. I mean there's what Cupertino. All all, all the different cities. Um, you know or, or or you know. I think Mountain View as well. Like when you when you get a, get into the suburbs, it's a lot different. But when, when you're like when you're in San Francisco proper, it's not not that exciting, certainly. So, 
Um, you know, it's it's okay, but I mean, I feel like you go you go you go to Market Square, you go to you know Presidio, or you you go down to the Wharf, obviously, because that's the most famous place to be. But um, just in general, like I, I like the surrounding cities quite a bit more, um, more more so than uh, than San Francisco proper. But to each their own, certainly. Uh, more as you know, like in. I mean, but, but again, there's a huge difference there too. Because you, you go to you go to um, West, uh, or not West. Sorry, you go to you go to SoCal, and like you 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 have to deal with traffic no matter where you're going. You you basically get in your car and you lose an hour of your life on, on the 405. So it's just like that. So that's that's pretty painful to say the least. But but anyway, um, yeah. So uh, anyway, any other questions in the meantime? Yeah, snake mare. Yeah, <laughs> that's a funny comment. I'm not going to repeat it, but it's uh, it's it's in the spirit of uh, of what things can be like. That's for sure. So uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, the other thing that I, I have to say is like having been to both San Francisco many times and uh, and LA is that. In LA, at least, there's there's a very nice uh, Japantown, which I've been to quite a few times, and I, I really like it there. And in San Francisco, Japantown is uh, pretty mediocre. It's small. There aren't many good sushi restaurants I've found. I, I found the sushi in San Francisco to be extremely disappointing um, relative to almost any other big city that I've been in. So um, there's some good things and bad things, but like if you get outside of like San Francisco proper, it gets a lot better. Um, but of course, LA, LA is. I mean, LA is a great, great area too. A lot, lot of stuff to do. Of course, it's very spread out there. But California is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, so Pete Chess says he currently likes MCD and NVDA. I assume you're referring to McDonald's and Nvidia. Um, those are two decent stocks. Not my personal favorites at the moment, but certainly, uh, certainly uh, some some, some uh, interesting stocks. Nvidia, of course, I, I I really like. I think tech is doing well. McDonald's is. Uh, is just not not performing lately so i would not be in mcdonald's right now uh so moving on to other questions um let's see any other questions um as snake mayor my man snake mayor yeah micron baby that's my favorite stock right now right on the money man right on the money um so so yeah uh awesome awesome uh yeah so so um Anyway, this this chat seems to be going like so many different directions now. Um, uh, Oste Osteogenesis Imperfecta says, at GM Hikaru, do you ever visit Austin? I was actually in Austin a few months ago. Um, it's a great city. The, the live music scene is simply uh, off the charts. I'm a huge fan. Uh, and, I mean, I would say right now, the cities that I've been to a few times or, or like few times, like basically two to three times, um, I think right now it ranks really high for me. So, um so yeah, Austin. I'm a big fan of Austin based on the, the little bit of it that I've seen. So, uh, so it's a uh, certainly one of the cities that I want to get back to more because it's just uh, fantastic. Um, and and again, I think when I was there, I was there for uh, I was there during the festival. Which one? It wasn't it wasn't South by Southwest. It was the uh, ah, what was it? I can't I can't remember right off. Um, but I was there during the festival and like um, you know like what's it Sixth Street? I think it is. Is that the right one? It's a uh, it's sixth seventh i think that's what it was like the the heart of downtown it was just uh it was it was amazing it was just a crazy crazy evening people were everywhere a lot of fun but anyway austin for what it's worth i mean i really liked austin i thought it's i mean if if i had if i had more money and i could uh buy more pro real estate properties uh, i probably would be would buy something there because i think it's it's definitely on, on the rise and i mean i know it's gotten much more expensive in the last few years but uh, I think that it's a, it's, a, it's a great, great, great area, great place to be, certainly. Um, so someone's asking more about stocks. Uh, I mean, probably my favorites at the moment right now. Um, I mean, they both had huge run-offs, but certainly would be Micron and Netflix. Um, those, those would be my two... Uh, those would be my two go-to stocks. If you, if you believe the markets are going to keep going up, those, those would be the two that I would go with. Um, other tech-related stuff. Uh, let me think right off the top of my head. I mean, probably I would. I probably would be in. Uh, I think Priceline's a good good stock right now. BK. They recently changed their symbol to BKNG. They've also had a big run-up, um, but they're the only one in that space that that has performed very well on the back of earnings. So that's that's a decent one. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I also opened a position AMD today as well. I think uh, I think they're going up too. So I, I that's I th those are probably the good ones. I think longer term, Amazon is always there. Facebook possibly, but it hasn't. It, I mean, it's been moving sideways for the last uh, like five six months, I think at least. So. Um, yeah, as, as Lucky John says, yeah, I mean, I, I like them both, but again, in order to, but then again, you could say almost everything is at all time highs. Uh, for example, there's some other stuff like Red Hat as well. Great, great stock, great performance, but to open, to open a new position at this point, it's, it's tough when everything's at all time highs. So, um, uh, Alexander Botez says, if you had to list the top five tech companies in order of who is most likely to take over the world, what would it be? Um, uh, I can't, I, I'm not, don't put me in a, don't put them in this a specific order, but I would say probably, uh, Tencent, the Chinese company. Um, I would probably, <laughs> I see Pete Chess beat me to the punch. Um, I would probably say, uh, Google certainly is possible. Probably Facebook as well. Um, beyond those three, I mean, I don't know. I like, I, I don't, I don't really fundamentally believe in Tesla. Certainly if they can if they can build out their cars and stay ahead of the curve, it's possible, but I wouldn't really think that it's that likely. So um, probably just those three would be, or Amazon, sorry, I forgot, duh. Amazon obviously is another one that, that very easily could take over the world. Um, but probably those four, I think those four would be the ones that, that I would that I, that I would go with. I, I mean, I'm sure there's a fifth one that I could come up with, but I would say one of those four the most likely. Um, I do not think Apple is going to take over the world. Uh, that that I will say. So, uh, I, I mean, I think most likely Amazon, Amazon or Tencent. One of those two is my guess. Is my guess. So, um, anyway, um, moving on. Let's see. Uh, any other? Uh, any other questions? Um, let's see. Not seeing any questions. Um, Rockness1994 once says Apple in 2K18. Um, I mean, I don't know. Apple's not really buying it personally. But anyway, um, and also, yes, I am an Android guy. I, I don't use the iPhone. Um, I, I've, I've been an Android guy forever. Um, even though I've been in and out of Apple, uh, I'm definitely an Android guy. So, um, yeah. I mean, other other stuff that I would actually, if we if we go up and all, all this talk is overblown on tariffs, another stock that I've been in and out quite a bit recently would be uh, would be Boeing BA. Um, beyond that, financials are always a good good buy. XLF, you know, just buy an ETF and hold it for for a while, and probably with interest rates, everything else going on. Um, I would think that probably that's that's a pretty pretty safe bet. So, um, moving on. Um, Snake Mayor says at Jim Hikaru long GE. Uh, no, I I don't believe in GE whatsoever. Um, yeah, GE's had a terrible run over the last couple of years and. I mean, it's it's not even really clear what, what how how much uh, how much stuff is going to have to be restated, um, you know, in terms of earnings and, and all the financial uh, balance sheets. So I'm I don't really I G is going to turn around, but it's not something I would want to be in right now. Um, uh, someone says short Snapchat, Snap ah, Snapchat. I mean, I don't really know. I I, I have I don't have much uh, experience with Snapchat. I mean, I've I've never been short of it. Um, I've never been short Snapchat. I, I follow it occasionally, but I don't really have any uh, any strong feeling. Although I don't really believe in it, so I mean I don't believe in it, but I don't I don't have enough of an understanding to really go short it. Um, uh, Uni two thousand two says, "Actually, Hikaru, have you studied have you studied crypto enough before liking?" It? I mean, crypto I've I I know the basics, but I'm not a programmer. I'm certainly not a not a not that kind of a guy. So everything I know is more from reading it because that's not my expertise or background. So um, I don't know what's going to happen with crypto. I mean, I have some small investments in it now. I, I used to have more. Uh, I got in Bitcoin pretty early, not super early, but but early enough to, to do quite well. Um, but uh, I, I, I don't really have strong, strong opinions uh, at the moment. I think, I mean, the more regulation there is, the harder it's going to be to uh, 
to see you know to, to see to see cryptos go up but i mean i think the problem is most of them are not going to be successful so who knows um snake mayor says at gm hikaru should i buy 0 0.001 shares of brka uh that's always there i mean i think i would just go buy berkshire b shares i mean i think the stock is at 204 right now uh, I, didn't, I didn't look at what i mean i didn't look at what the price to price to book ratio is at the moment but i think at 204 it's a it's a pretty pretty good good long-term buy and of course it's it's priced much cheaper than uh than a shares so anyway round two i'm playing yu zheng yu i don't know who this is uh Probably another pretty strong GM. China has a lot of these like 2,500 guys who are capable of playing at like a 2,650, 2,700 level. Um, so you, you never really know what to expect with these guys. So I'm going to play, I'm going to go Joe Bava style. I'm going to try and play like a Verisaw, Bishba 4, uh, something like that. So what's going on? Is this dude having troubles too? Is it me? Is it him? Is he just thinking? Uh, Gear seven hundred says seven hundred says. What about airlines? Uh, DAL love. So I assume that's Delta and Southwest. Um, I don't have a strong opinion on airlines right now. I mean, it's, I, I haven't looked at them super closely recently. I think a lot would depend on, I think a lot's going to depend on the price of oil as well. Um, and I, I'm not really sure what's happening with oil at the moment. I know like Exxon and Chevron have had really bad run of late. So, um, I mean, I, I think my, my gut tells me that probably it's, uh, it's air, airlines probably will do fine. I, I don't know. I mean, if I really would be going super long on airlines, but it's it's there certainly. Okay, so Bishop F5. What is Bishop F5? This is not a move. So let's see. I feel like everyone plays Knight F6. Why do they play Knight F6 and not Bishop F5? F3. Yeah, that looks kind of dubious. Um, E3. No, I'll just play. I'll just play standard Bishop F4. See what he wants to do here. So e6, I'll play e3. I mean, maybe the point is he has c5. Is that the concept? Not entirely sure. So bishop d6. I could take, I think I'll just play bishop g3, let him exchange. See what he wants to do here. So it looks like first first round we went two out of four, so we we drew the first round, which I'm gonna assume is a good thing probably. I mean, actually, like, I feel like anything, uh, oh, so someone asked about the click. Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that myself. I mean, I guess is that not normal for most people or does it just mean I'm gripping the mouse much tighter than most other people? Um, Alex Gabriella says, how much, how much money can you make by investing over just keeping it in a bank? I mean, the problem is now, I mean, you can't really make anything keeping money in the bank. I mean, the interest rate is so ridiculously low. It's like 0.001%. Um, and so that's a, that's a lot of what has contributed to what I mean. Some people would say, you know, asset prices are overvalued right now that it's a little bit out of control. But again, w when you have nowhere else to put your money and, and make uh, decent returns, um, that certainly that certainly uh, changes things. And I mean, that, that's why you, I think it's, you've seen the asset asset bubble, quote unquote. I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a, a bubble, but we've seen such increases because you can't really put your money in, um, you can't put your money in, in, you know, a savings account and generate any kind of return. I mean, you make like one cent, which is just, I mean, ridiculous. Uh, 
Uh, our Garzao says so savings account. Yeah, if you, I mean, you'll make you'll make some money, but it's not. Uh, I mean, I would. Whoops, I would argue you can do uh, you can do much better than that. Just um, at the moment, certainly. Uh, Snake Mayor says just pull put all of your assets in SVXY. Um, I do have a position action SVXY too, Snake Mayor. So, um, so that's a interest interesting comment that that you said that. I'm going to assume that you're so, you're someone in finance too. Because you're pulling out all these stocks that I seem to like be in or have an interest in, so it's uh, very interesting. I would argue that I mean a lot, a lot of the you know a lot of people simply misunderstood the volatility trade um, in terms of uh, what what led to the the collapse of uh, XIV specifically. Um, again, sorry you guys, I'm talking. If, I feel like I'm trying to respond to one question that one person is going to understand what I'm saying, and everyone else is going to just think that I'm completely insane. So. I'll try. I'll try to turn it back to uh, back to a chess. But I will say, I think in general, based based. I mean, obviously, uh, slight economics change for a second. Based on you know the curve of the the forward looking futures, um, I think if you if you get into these these uh, these ETNs and ETFs that are short volatility essentially, if you get in when when the VIX is pretty high, I think they're still pretty safe. But the key is to to not be in when the when the vol gets super low. I mean, the vol gets down to like you know. Uh, like 13, 12, maybe sub 12. I mean, it's insane to just be, uh, it's just insane to be, be in such products. I mean, because the thing is most people seemingly didn't understand that they could go to zero. So anyway, Bishop E7's played after a super long think. Um, I could take, I mean, takes, takes, Queen F3, Knight E7 to protect both pawns. Um, if I don't take, he's gonna go Knight E4, obviously. Although if I go queen d3, knight e4 takes, knight e7, queen b5, c6 takes, rook b8, meh, that's probably okay for black. I could take, take, but let's see, so knight e4 is the threat, basically. So if I go queen f3, knight e4, bishop b7, knight e7, and we have the same, actually, yeah, we have the same kind of thing, and that's good for black. So I don't want to play queen f3. So queen d3, knight e4, takes, knight e7. That looks very solid for black too. So let's see, what can I do here? I think I'm gonna take on F6 and play queen F3. So knight E7, so now I think I'm gonna go long. I'm gonna go long. This is kind of like a Dutch in a, in a sense. I mean. I don't know if he's going to play queen d7 in castle or if he's going to go short. He can go both ways here, probably. Oh, and sorry you guys about the echo. Actually, you know, I'm just going to turn on my headphones. I'm not listening to music anyway, so who cares? So, yeah. All right, you guys. I'm, I'm not going to listen to music anyway. So, um, so I might as well just uh, turn on my headphones. So I'll go knight e2. Um, but anyway, yeah, so let's, let's see, what's he going to do? So castles, play knight f4 maybe, knight f4, knight d3. I think that looks like a pretty reasonable try here. Try to get the knight to d3, then I've got knight c5 at some point. Uh, major oddball says, what headphones are you using? These, these were actually good to me. I think they're the Bose, um... Which ones are they? I don't know specifically. I think they're the, the wireless Bose, like EA24 or something. I, I don't know the exact make, uh, something like that. Anyway, G6, so I could play H4 here, but I, I mean, I really would like to get H3, G4, E4 at some point, but I'm gonna put my king on B1 first. So now he goes H5, we'll play Knight D3. So let's see, so King B8. Uh, maybe h3 g4 it's possible h3 will provoke h4 probably i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing i'm going to assume that's a bad thing um i mean really he would like to get knight g8 knight f6 so the key here is how to start putting pressure on the queen side so i think i'm going to start by playing knight a4 and then i think i'm going to try b3 rook c1 and c4 if i if i have the opportunity 
But I don't know if I will have the opportunity. That, that could be an issue. Because he's probably going to try to go knight c8, knight d6. Like something like knight c8, queen c6, knight d6. And then knight e4, knight c4. Something like that would be my guess. But anyway, we'll see. So... See what he wants to do, still thinking. So he does go knight c8, which is kind of what I expected. So now he really would like to get knight d6, knight e4. So I kind of need to find a way to prevent him from getting that. Now I don't know if knight c5 or b3. Uh, b3 probably is going queen e7, I assume. I'm not sure though. I think I'll play b3. So I protect the knight here. Also, c5 is never really a threat, so this diagonal doesn't matter that much at the moment. Also, if I ever need to, I can play like queen f4, knight e5, probably. But I really would like to go rook c1, rook hd1, and like c4 if I can. Something like that would be, would be ideal. So queen e7. So he's going for knight d6. The problem here is if I play rook c1, does he have knight d6 right away? I take knight e4, queen a5, and I'm holding everything it looks like. So I don't have to worry about knight d6 immediately. So knight d6, queen d5, knight e4, queen a5, b6, queen e1. Yes, I don't see it. So I, I might be blind, but I don't see the actual tactic that he has here if he plays knight d6. Knight d6 takes knight e4, queen a5. And I think, I, I think I'm just up a pawn there. So I, I, I don't think he can go knight d6 right away. And if he goes c6, probably I will just go c4 and break it up immediately. But anyway, let's see, what is, or queen e4 maybe, queen e4 I've got knight c5, or I can even just move my queen probably, so. Shouldn't be a problem at any rate, but who knows. Okay, so c6 as expected, so now I could play c4, but I realize he might take and go like knight d6, knight b5, try to get some weird knight a3, maybe, but... If I play c4 takes rook c4 b5, I've got knight b4, and I'm fine. So I'll play c4 takes, I'll take, knight d6, rook c1. If b5, knight b4 with just knight takes c6 is just humongous. So I'll play rook c1. If rook c2 I was worried about some knight, b, uh, knight b5, knight a3 forks type stuff. So that's why I'm going to go rook c1. Now he's probably going to play knight e4 threatening knight d2, I would assume. So we'll see. Or queen e4 maybe, but uh, I mean, it's, it depends which idea he wants to go for here, certainly. Okay, so knight e4, so I'll play rook d1, cover the d2 square. And now I'm probably gonna go knight c5 or knight c3 next, try and contest this knight on e4. So rook d5. Now I could play queen e2, then he takes, then I take. I'm gonna go queen e2, threaten to play f3 now. And if bishop d4, I can just take, because knight c3, I just play knight takes c3, and I protect my queen. Because he, he, he might try to have some trick like that, but... I think I'm doing pretty well here, actually, now that I think about it. Because, like, 
Also, after rook d5, f3, knight d6, knight c3 is a huge issue too, and his rook is kind of a little bit loose. He'd have to go to a5. So he does rook d8 anyway, which I, well, I'm not sure that's the best move, but it's certainly possible. So now the question here is if I play f3, knight d6, rook e1, he's got knight b5. f3, knight d6, knight b4, maybe, ah, rook b5 anyway. So the question is, is what do I have here? He doesn't have an actual threat. So I could play f3, knight d6, rook e1, or I could just move my queen. I think I'm just going to move my queen, sidestep any threats, and play f3, knight c3 next. And I think this makes more sense, because also now the queen's off, off any... There's nothing on the e file either. That's 5, 19, 19 says, do you think your opponent's watching the stream? Um... I don't think so. I, I somehow I, I don't think I don't think that's even legal actually. But if he is, he's definitely losing time. So that's a, that's that's a good thing. So he's using a lot of time here. I mean, because I mean, it's not an easy position to play. Black has achieved pretty much everything that he was hoping for. But he has to figure out a plan, because now I'm threatening to try and just kick him back with f3, e4, f3, rook, e1, e4, knight, c3 coming, because his rook on d5 looks cool, but it's slightly misplaced. So he goes rook, a5. So now, now I could play b4, maybe. b4, f3. He's not really threatening to take. So I could go knight, c5 also. Actually, knight, c5 looks pretty good, just to cut him cut him off a little bit. But I let me see. So knight, c5... Takes, takes, b6, knight, d3, c5, takes. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go for it. So I like knight, c5 here, so probably he'll take. But his rook here on a5 is also a little bit misplaced, so I want to see if I can take advantage of it somehow. Um, not really sure if I can. Like, if I play a4, it uh, looks a little bit loose, but a4 with the idea of b4 does look pretty interesting now. A4, B6, B4, B C5 takes, C D4, Queen B3, or Queen C6, Queen B4, King A2 has to be pretty good. So A4 of Rook C5 takes Queen C5, King A2, Rook takes C5, Queen D2, Rook D5, Queen C2, maybe that's a draw. Ah, but A4 takes takes Queen E5, I've got Rook D4, so A4 takes A Queen C5, Rook D4, Rook D4. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I don't see it, so I'm going to go for it. And let's let's see if either I'm fine or I've just blundered terribly. But um, I don't see it right off. So if I don't see it right off, probably it isn't there. And he doesn't see the tactic either immediately, so maybe it just doesn't exist. Um, but we'll see. At any rate, we will find out very soon if I've just made a horrible blunder or if, if I'm just much better. Because b4 is almost, b4 basically is unstoppable, trapping the rook on a5 now. So, I'm not really sure what else he can do. Because if I get b4, then I can take with the pawn and there's, there's, no, uh, there's no long diagonal because the pawns are still intact. So, I think he's kind of forced to, okay, so he does take, so I'll take. Plus queen e5, so I have rook d4 here. Which I think is the correct move. Ah, but rook d4, he's going to go rook d7. Ah, rook d4, rook d7, f4, though. And I kick the queen off the off the long diagonal. So rook d4 should be fine. Because if he moves the rook to d7, I go f4. If he goes rook d8, I just take. And so I should be completely fine now. So he takes, I take, he takes. Go king a2. Now I'm just up in exchange. And... I wouldn't say this is clearly winning yet, but this should be pretty good for white because I'm going to end up getting this open D file. I mean, maybe it's still not completely clear because maybe you can play some A6, King, A7 idea, but um, this does look pretty good still. So he plays A5, but I think A5 is wrong. Because now after rook d1, I'm going to be able to go queen d2 and, and take a5, but check if he ever puts his king on the a file. But he plays queen b4. Now I've got queen c4 here, for example, but he doesn't have an actual threat. 
So there's no threat here because his, his queen looks nice, but he's got no threats. So I've got all the squares covered. So I can play queen d2, queen c5, queen d6, and that's probably winning. Probably being the key word. It may not be winning, but let's see. Do I have anything better than that right off? Um, so he plays queen b4. So he's got no actual threats, but is there any way I can generate threats? So if I play queen c4, he just takes and takes, and he's got bishop e7, and he'll take c5. So queen c4 is out. So queen d2 looks like the right move, optically. And I don't think I can lose. I, I don't think I'm risking any kind of loss here. So I think I think I have to go for this. It might it might just be a draw, but I kind of have to go for this regardless. Because if he ever gets his king to c7, then any exchange won't work. And now with this exchange, although maybe he can just take and go king c7, which I completely missed. But there at least I'm going to be able to play b4, king b3, and c5 isn't going to fall uh, for nothing. Whereas with queen c4, if I get c4 and c5, I can't protect the pawn on c5 from bishop e7 takes c5. So queen d2 has to be the right. Now I'm going to pre-move rook d2, because if he doesn't take, then, then it won't be executed. Um, and if he does take, well, I save myself a few seconds. So no, he takes c5, so now I check. He'll take, I'll take. And now I'm hitting the bishop, so now I can go rook d7. Now my rook enters. So whereas like the, if he ever got his king to c7, he would cover d7 and d8. But now my rook is active. So this might this might just be a draw somehow, but I know that I can't lose this. So this is this is uh, I kind of have to go for this. And if he plays f6, probably I go g3 with the idea of playing f4. If he takes, I just take f7. So he doesn't have a lot of time, which also helps. So I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can set up a fortress here where this, this should be drawing. But with two minutes on the clock, it's going to be pretty rough to, to find it. I mean, I think bishop h2 is right, but he'll probably play f6 would be my guess. Ah, he takes. Okay, so I'll take. Bishop g1. So now I need to keep as many pawns on the board as I can, so I'm going to go f3. Bishop e3, now I'll play rook, uh, rook f6. So now he's going he's gonna to lose one of his pawns here. Just a question of which one. So g5, so I take. And now a5 is hanging too. So he's going to have to play b6 now. And then I'll go rook f7 and cut him off on the 7th seventh, seventh rank. Because if he goes bishop d2, I go king b2, king c2, and his bishop can't protect both a5 and g5. And if he goes c5, I go rook e5, and he has the same problem. Because that, then he can't protect c5 and g5 because his bishop has to move. So probably b6 is the only move. But after b6, I go rook, rook f7, and I think he's in a lot of trouble here. Because after I get rook f7, I can just bring my king all the way over to like c2, d3, e4. I mean, I think this is losing now. I mean, this has to be losing. Because if he goes b6 I, and I cut his king, he has no hope. And if, if he doesn't do that, I mean, c5, rook e5, this should be 2, king b2, king c2. I mean, bishop d2 might be, bishop, but if bishop d2, I go king b2, or king b2, king c2. So like bishop d2, king b2, b6, king c2, bishop e3, and then I go rook f7 again, and it's the same, same setup, but my king's even closer. Here my king's on a2 versus c2. So he's deep in the tank here, so let's, let's see what he's going to do. Not sure what he's going to I mean he he's running out of time actually like maybe he can play king c7 king d6 but then it'll be even material so he does play b6 so I play rook f7 cutting him off and now I'll bring my king over and this should be technically winning I would think if this isn't winning I'd be surprised so 
It's gonna go king d3, king e4. And actually now I might even threaten to take f4 possibly after king d8. But we'll see what he wants to do here first. It feels like this this should just be winning though, because he's kind of so I'll go king e4. And now with bishop f4, I'm pretty sure I can just take. So bishop bishop h2. So let's see. So he's okay, so now if I go rook f5, bishop f4 takes, takes b5, king e5. I mean, this is the real question. Is this endgame winning? So now now I need to think how I'm gonna play this. So if I go rook g7, let's see. So I've got eight minutes. So actually, I've got all the time in the world. So I really should just relax and, and figure this out, what, what, the, what the winning technique is. Because this has to be winning somehow. So rook f5, bishop f4, takes, takes, takes. b5, king e5, takes, takes, king c7, f4, king d7, king d4, king d6, king c4. Not, not, not clear that that's winning. So let's let's see. So I play rook g7, bishop f4, king f5, maybe. I'll, I'll waste a few moves to get him low on time. So king b8. So now if I take on g5, this, this should be winning, right? Takes, takes, takes. b5, f4, takes, takes. c5, f5, c4, f6, c3, f7, c2, f8, check. Okay. So, so if I take... So if, or what am I doing? So takes, takes, takes. So b5, f4, takes, takes. So c5, f5, king c7, f6, loses. So takes, takes, b5, f4, takes, takes, king c7, f5, king d7, king g6, king e8, king g7. Is king e7, king g7 is losing. So takes, takes, takes. So c5, f4. I think this should just be winning unless I'm missing something here. So takes, takes, takes. B5, F4, King, C7, F5, King, D6, F6, King, D7, King, G6. So takes, takes, B4. so takes, takes, takes. B5, F4. Maybe, King, or takes, takes, King, C7, F4, King, D7, King, G6, King, E7. F5, King, F8. So maybe that's how he's going to try to draw. But then, so takes, takes, King, C7, F4, King, D7, F king g6 king e7 f5 king f8 king f6 b5 king king e5 takes takes king e7 f6 king f7 here takes takes here takes a5 a3 a6 that's a draw so takes takes king c7 is the only only possible way that he can try to draw this king c7 king h4 b5 king g3 c5 king f2 c4 and i'm losing so Okay, so this is where I need to think a little bit and figure out how to proceed. So let's see, and if I exchange pawns on b4, there's probably never any way to win. So maybe here I need to try and like zugzwang him somehow, like king g, king f6, king f8 takes, no, but the king's, king's as far away as it will ever be. F, wait, wait, takes, takes, king, whoa, what am I doing? Takes, takes, king c7, f4, king d7, king g6, king, wait, takes, takes, king c7, king g6, king d8, f, f4, king e8, king g7, king e7, f, b5, king e6, take, okay, let's see, so takes, 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 king c7, f4, king d7, King g6, king e7, f5, king f8, king g6, b5, king e6, takes, takes, c5, king f, d5, king f7, takes, f6, b5, f5, a5, g4, king b4, king g3, a5, takes, a6, and that's a draw by one tempo. Or is it? King c7, king f6, king c7, f5, king d7. Five f five takes takes c five king g seven c four king e five king e seven king here 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 takes takes and that's a draw. Hmm. So it looks like this is a draw if I play it like that. So takes takes king c seven f four king d seven king f six b five f five takes takes c five king c four f six c three f seven c two f eight c one draw. Okay, I'll start wasting more moves then.
And now I'm going to try to Zugzvon him. So now I Zugged him. So he's going to have to move his king. Now I'll play king b7. And now I win. So I've got rook g6 and I force him to push the c-pawn. And once he pushes the c-pawn, then, then the, this has to... This is winning then. Yeah, this is definitely winning. Rook g7. So now I Zugged again. Although, did I give him b5? Yikes, he had b5 there. Now he just loses because I go king d6 and it's just uh, it's just over. But I actually gave him b5 and it takes king b6 was a problem. Okay, he goes king a6, I'll go king c6, cut him off. And now on bishop f4, I have rook b7 winning. Um, no, no draw, sorry. Um, so, okay, cool, awesome. Yeah, so just to be clear, you guys, since you probably couldn't completely follow what I was saying, um, what I was saying was uh, right here that rook takes g5, takes, takes. If b5, f4, like this line is winning because this just wins. This just wins because I queen with check. So if we go back, if he plays b5 here, takes, takes, and tries to bring the king, f5 just wins. Because now c5, I'm just much too fast. And if king d7, this king g6, king g7, king g7, and again, I promote to a queen. But the problem is here, he, I think he has king c7. If I go f4, he goes king d7. If I go f5, he goes king e8. And now if I go king g6, he goes king f8, and he's, in the, he's on the right square, and he's got b5, b a4. Um, although one of the lines I was thinking was this, f5, king f8, king f6, but then b5, king e5, takes, takes, and king f7. And I think this is also a draw, because king d6, f6, takes, takes, and yeah, this, this is also just, um, I think I queen, do I queen with check? No, I mean, this This is just a draw, but, um, but there was an, oh yeah, but sorry, on b5, I can go king e6 also, but I think this is a draw, because takes, takes, c5, king d5, king f7, takes, king f6, king b5, takes, takes, king g4, king b4, king g3, a5, takes, a6, h3, a7, h2, a8, king g1, and this is a, a known draw. So... So that's why I think this was just is just a draw. And also, it's worth noting if I take, I think I lose because he's got b5. And if I play g4, maybe this is still okay. I don't know. C5, g5, c4, takes, takes. This this is probably actually yeah. This is going to be a draw too. Um, although here maybe you can even go king d7 because this is very very true. No, then probably king g3, c5. No, actually, probably, maybe not king, maybe I have to go g5 here, but I'm not sure if this is actually, is this okay or not? King h5, takes, takes, c5, or sorry, not c5, sorry, king f8. Ah, but then I'm in the box. I've got king f4, king e4, so. Ah, so king e8, then I can maybe just go king g4. And if c5, is this winning? Maybe g5, king e7 is better. King g4, c5, takes c4, takes a4, b6. If king d7, g6, yeah, and this this is winning, but this, oof. Maybe this is actually just winning if I take on h4 then. Because b5, g4, c5, g, oh no, this is the line that I was looking at before. c5, g5, and this is probably just a draw, because takes, c3 g7 c2 g8 c1 and it's 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 definitely draw with correct play so um so yeah so that's that's why actually i didn't uh didn't go for this and of course there also are losing possibilities because your king's on h4 if you miscalculate here you're gonna end up losing by a by a tempo so i think what i did was correct um then like what i, what I did was correct so bishop h2 i played king f5 right or no i didn't what did i do um so I played rook h7, king e6, and now I delayed him. See, here he should have played bishop h2 to try and outweight me. And I think maybe he's holding here, because now if I go rook g7, he goes bishop f4, and it's the wrong position. Like, I want this position with its black move, so if the bishop has to move, I have king d6. And if the king moves, I've got king d7, so it's just zugzwang. But, but like here, if he plays bishop h2, maybe, let's see, so bishop h2... So maybe if rook f5, bishop, maybe I can somehow zook him like this. Rook f5, bishop f4, rook f8, king b7, rook f7. If king c8, rook g7. 
And if king b8, I just go king d7, and, and king b7, rook g7, and we have the game again. Or actually, not rook g7, sorry, rook f6, hitting c6, and we've got, got a version of the game. So maybe this is just losing then, because I've got rook f8 check. Yeah, this is probably just losing, because I can, I can force him, I can force this position. I, I've always got this trick, so... When he waits, no matter where he waits, I can just I can always I can always play this trick and, and I get the zug that I want. So it actually is probably losing. It's just just tricky. So anyway, you guys. So I guess that's the next break. So I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go uh, get some more water. I'll be right back. guys so uh back again um i guess team has four out of eight after two rounds so um anyway yeah so next game all right so i don't know who i'm playing next game but um not sure but next game should be someone someone pretty good. So again, it looks like we went two two. So uh, so for, I guess that makes it. Uh, what's that make it? So we're tied through two rounds. So this actually we're getting down to the part where everyone's very evenly matched, probably. So so we'll see. Um, yeah, actually, this is a flex fit cap, by the way, you guys. So it's not a, um, it's not a. <laughs> it's not not uh it's not it's not like the other one which is just a uh, just a normal normal fit so okay so um let's see ne next game is what uh, it's every 40 minutes i guess or 45 minutes i'm not sure something like that at any rate so let's let's see um <clears throat> I like that comment. Someone just said, "said I should go off camera and come back clean and shaven." Yeah, that would be uh, that would be an impressive feat of magic. Dubious chess says, "Whoa, I leave for five minutes and and you switch out of the Red Bull hat for a chess.com hat. What is this madness?" So. Anyway, I guess I mean I don't know who the top two boards are for uh, for for Chengdu, but I'll I'll, um, I'll check out the uh, figure out how to mute the sound so I don't end up playing sound. So yeah, so right, so four four. So I don't know who the, I, I don't know who the top two boards are for uh, for Chengdu, but uh, we'll see. So two two more games to go. Um, see see what happens. Ah, so protestleague.com slash pairings. So. I guess this this just shows the pairings though. So I'll I'll, ch I'll check the actual email then from the team manager just to see who's. I assume it's Yu Yang Yi probably is board one or he he, I mean, he usually is right. Yeah, so it's Yu Yang Yi and Bai Junshi. Okay, so okay, so yeah, pretty pretty standard so far. So so we'll see. But anyway. <clears throat> Let's 
so all right you guys so just waiting for the next game to start if you have any questions let me know um and go from there kind of just to see what's happening in the meantime what else is going on not much future is green so all right looks like i hear a sound yeah, round three. So, okay. oh, I get, oh, I get white again. I thought I was gonna get white against you. Okay, that's kind of disappointing, but fair enough. Okay, so by Jinshi, knight f6. Um, what do I want to do here against him? I think I'll play bishop f4. I feel like he's probably a king's Indian player. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Just a guess. But we'll see. He's thinking, so he plays d5, so I'll play e3. c5, play c3. Maybe knight c3 was better. If I was going to play it like this, probably just to make sure he can't get his, uh, his bishop out on the diagonal. But at any rate, it's much too late to second guess that, so I just have to play the position. Queen b6, no. I think I'm going to play queen c1, just uh, protect b2, play knight d2, knight f3 next. Bishop g4, interesting. Interesting move. So I'll play knight d2, continue to develop normally. Probably he'll play rook c8 maybe, rook c8, or he just goes e6. Okay, so I can play h3. Get the tempo on the bishop or play knight f3 right away. I think I'm just going to play knight f3. I'll, I'll let him take if he wants to. Um, I, don't, I didn't really see it. There might have been added value to h3 in that now he could maybe take and go knight h5. So maybe h3 creating the square was better. But I feel like he's going to go bishop h5 g6 regardless. So I'm just going to castle. He's going to castle. And now I've got to figure out my plan. So I could play queen b1, try to do something on the long diagonal. Um, which seems pretty reasonable. Why not? Maybe bishop h5 here, maybe, I don't know what I'll, yeah, so he does, so I'll play knight e5, he takes, I take, and then I'm going to win a pawn on the diagonal. So he's going to go bishop g6, obviously. Or maybe not obviously, but I'm, I'd be shocked if he doesn't play bishop g6 here. Ugh, my hair is really itchy and scratchy tonight, I don't know why. So... Anyway, potatoes au gratin au bonefish. Ooh, that sounds like a really delicious dinner, you guys. So he plays rook c8, which seems kind of odd, because now I've got bishop g5, maybe? Do I? Is that kind of a blunder, maybe, rook c8? Because now I'm bishop g5, I'm threatening to take and go knight d7 and fork, fork him. Um, and actually, I think he blundered, because so on bishop g6, I can just take and then take f6. And I've got this fork on d7. So I think he actually just blundered a pawn here. Um, I'm not sure how good of a pawn it is, but I think he blundered it. The itchy and scratchy show. Um, so let's, I, I don't know what he's going to do. Because I think he just blundered here. I mean, he just blundered a pawn. He's, I assume he's going to go like queen c7 or something. Um... But we'll see. So he's deep in the tank here. So I feel I feel like he's probably going to use like 10 minutes on this move would be my guess. So, or no, he plays queen c7 kind of as expected. So now I have to figure out do I want to take c6, take f6. Or does it just not matter? It might just not matter. Wait, if I take c6, no, it does matter. Because by taking on c6 first, if he takes the pawn, I've, I've got options. So c5 is hanging. I can take, take, and take c5. I can also just take c5. Maybe it's just the same thing. If I take c5, he'll probably just take c5. So if I take f6, this is weird. Because if I take f6, I actually am opening up something here for him, which is... 
not really what I want, ideally, because I feel like he's going to take, take a king g7, rook h8, and then try to do something on the h file, maybe. Um, and this is why I should have played h3 earlier, you guys, because then I wouldn't have none of these problems. But, okay, so if I take gf, takes king h8, bishop d3, rook eight, or bishop c2, maybe, rook h8, f4, should be fine. Should be fine. But it's not conclusively clear. So... Let's see, what else can I do? Not really a whole lot else I can do here. So if I take gf6, bishop h7, king g7, bishop d3, or bishop c2, rook h8, f4, cd4, ed4, c5, queen e1, or knight b3, knight b3. Hmm. This is strange somehow. He blundered a pawn, but it's, it was actually a very good pawn to blunder. So now I have to figure out what to do. Do I want to take? Could also just take c5 and play something like e4 maybe? No, the knight g4. Hmm. So rook h8, if I play rook e1, bishop d6, uh, maybe I should play positional here, something like b4, trying to shut him down kind of, b4, cd4, cd4. Hmm. This is strange. Somehow it's not clear. If I grab the pawn, I'm probably okay, but it feels fairly risky. And if I don't grab the pawn, I'm not really sure what I have here in the way of a possible advantage. So dc5, bishop c5 is annoying. Let's see. <laughs> Fine, I'll go for it, you guys. I'll I'll take a shot and we'll see. So probably he's gonna play rook h eight here would be my guess. Or he's going to take on d4. C4 is also a possible move too. But I somehow I doubt it. So f4. And so now I'm up a pawn. It's not, not the best pawn in the world. But he also has a bishop on h5. That's not ideally placed here. So he's going to play c5. And then queen e1. Now probably takes, takes. And then we'll see, because his bishop on h5 is out of play here. So that's the one trump that I have in the position, that his bishop on h5 is not really well placed relative to his other pieces. So queen b6, I kind of thought this was... So he wants me to take. I can take if I want. I, that's actually not a bad move, maybe. Takes, 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 king h1, queen b2, knight b3, bishop e7. Queen g3, nah, not so great. Or just queen, e, queen f2 right away. Let's see. And if I play like queen g3, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Sense, maybe. No, actually, maybe I just take. Yeah, I'll just, I'll take. So probably bishop c5, I would assume. King h1, queen b2, knight b3, and the game goes on. So takes, king h1. And so now I've got knight b3. That's that's really the, the, what I'm playing for here. 
So I'm playing for like queen b2, knight b3. So he does take. So now I can play knight b3 right away. Or I can, can I play check first? Or does that make any sense? No, that makes no sense. So I'll just play knight b3. And I do have to be careful that there are no like weird mate threats like rook h2 or anything here, but in this position that's not an issue. So there should be six, so I could play like a4 maybe? a4, no, a4 is not a move. Maybe rook b1, queen a2, or queen g3, king f8, rook fb1 to force the queen to a3 maybe? This is very, very messy to say the least, but I think, I think I'm okay. So I'm gonna check and I'm gonna play Ah, but he's got queen f2. Oh, or wait, but he blocks? Really? Wait a second, that can't be right. So he blocks? So if I play like... Still not, not... Not quite what I wanted though. That's, that's for sure. Somehow, yeah, this is not what I want. I, I completely forgot he had bishop g6 here. And now I've got problems. Now I've got rather serious problems actually. So if I take, he's gonna take. Maybe just knight d4 takes, rook e1, rook b, takes, takes, knight d4 takes, rook b1, queen c3, rook b7, king a6 is mate, king f8, queen g6, rook c7, rook b8, draw, wow. c7, rook b8, rook c8. Hmm. Or knight d4 first. Knight d4 takes bishop g6. Maybe I play it the other order. Knight d4 takes, takes queen c3, bishop d3, king f8. No, that's just bad. So if I take, take knight d4, queen c3, knight d6, king f7, takes, takes f5, gf5, knight f4 should be enough for a draw probably. Hmm. Hmm. This is not what I wanted at all. Okay, so takes, takes. But I could just play bishop d4, knight d4 first, rook c3, f5, e f5, rook a d1, tough to play, rook a d1, queen a3, Four always impossible. Queen c3, bishop d3, king h8. It's also possible. Hmm. 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 Well, I think I'll go for this. Hmm. Oh. Although actually after takes his queen d4, f5. No, this is, this is not what I was hoping for, that's for sure. Probably he'll take, I would assume, but we'll see. Although, maybe I can just take g6 and play bishop d3 with rook b1. That's probably bad, but maybe not terrible. The question is which one is, which one is better or worse? I'm not really sure, but I think I'll just take d4. I'll, I'll trust that, that I've calculated correctly here and that takes and rook a d1 should be correct. So if rook c3, I go f5. If queen d4, I just take g6, probably. Yeah, this is not, not trivial. So rook c3, I do have f5. 
Or actually, Rook C3, I could also just play Rook A D1 even. Actually, maybe Rook C3, Rook A D1, because if Queen F to Queen A3, I've got Rook F3. So maybe actually just Rook C3, I go Rook D1, and I'm fine. So he takes D4. Interesting. So now it gets interesting, because now I can take and play Rook B1. And if Rook C7, I've got F F5. Come on. Oh, yeah. Woo! There we go. Time to say goodbye. And that should be game over. I mean, I don't think he can do anything now. Now. Yeah. Should be game over. So, yeah, all right, you guys, on my way to three out of three. So, yeah, that was, I thought he might fall for that, actually. That he might blunder this 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 F5 trick. Because, like, but already I think it wasn't so clear. After rook b1, it's not trivial. Because if he goes rook b8, I have the same F5 trick in queen g6. Because I'm, I'm hitting the rook twice on b8 also. And his rook b7 is just a huge threat here. So I'm not sure this is trivial. Because even, even, oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, even, well, after the game, I'll show it. But, um, I think that's game, because on queen e5, I just go queen g6, king f8, and I've got rook b8 check, and I just collect the rook on h8, and... So, oh, I like that comment Santiago, Santiago says, but what if he takes, take, take, he takes, takes, and then bakes? <laughs> but yeah, so this, this should be, this should be GG. Don't really see any moves that hold here, so. So we'll see what, what his next uh, next idea is. Takes, takes, fakes, and then shakes. So that yeah, that's I mean he just missed this trick, but already after rook a b one, um, yeah, so he resigns. But al already after rook a b one, it's not easy because if rook b eight, I've got f five with the same same trick, and I mean after rook b one, queen g six. I mean maybe he can somehow survive this, but it's pretty unpleasant. All this just losing probably. So um, and if he doesn't like if he goes queen c five, I think he has the same. Well, same problem. Rook b7, and can I play f5 here? Maybe not, because takes king f8, takes king g8. This might this might be enough for a draw. Probably this is enough for a draw, but 
Let me see if I have something. But actually, even here, I can maybe play just f5. And again, I've got the same pro. He's got the same exact problem. Because if he, because rook b7 is just crushing. If he takes just rook b7 and it's game over. Yeah, and already it's just not easy. I, I think black might just be lost. I won't say lost, but I think maybe here he needs to go like rook f8 and rook f7 or something. And But even here, even again, f5 is still a huge threat because takes, rook b7, f7, takes, takes, and I've got queen c7. And now suddenly again, this is very, 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 very dangerous. So, although maybe, actually, maybe, maybe he can go king h6 and somehow just queen h3, king g5 and survive this way. Maybe. But, oof, yeah, this looks really tough to play for black. I mean, maybe there's a way to hold this, but this this one from being like clearly better for black to like very hard to defend. Maybe maybe rook h f rook h f eight's got to be the way because now the rook's on c eight, it covers c seven. But still, probably rook well, probably many different things. But probably probably rook b seven, rook f seven takes takes queen h three should be enough to make a draw because got queen h seven. I'm also hitting the e six pawn, so he can't go back. So he has to go like rook g eight, and then I go rook b one, and now I've got rook b seven and. This actually looks hard to play for black, in fact. Maybe black's, black's probably still fine, but it's hard to play. So, yeah. Anyway. That's good. So, onwards and upwards. So, that's three down. One more to go. So, um, yeah. Pretty, pretty good. That was not, the quality of that game was pretty bad, but the result is what counts. So, yeah, so three out of three. So one more to go. So one more to go, and it's going to be black against, uh, black against um, Yu Yangi. So... Should be good. So someone asked, how's my team doing right now? Um, right now, I think we're up five to four. So I won the first game of the third match and everyone else is still playing. So um, we'll see We'll see what happens in this match. Although, actually, it looks to me like Sargissian might actually be winning here. Sargissian might be winning his game if he, uh, if, he, if he finds the right moves. Maybe. Still hard to, hard to play. But it looks like he's doing very well also. So if, he, if he's doing well in that... That means we could win this match, actually. Uh, maybe not win the match, but we might actually be ahead. So so we'll see. But still, all the games are, are still going, so we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, if you guys have any other questions, obviously I'm still, uh, still here. Um, So yeah, so we'll we'll see what what's happening. But in, anyway, um, someone says, please answer Start Nation's question. What was Start Nation's question? I I, I missed the question. Uh, thank you, Eric Sh Sharmesky. I think it's a little bit small for some reason in the in the output. So I I think it's Eric Sharmesky. Thank you for the uh, donation. Appreciate it. So someone says Shark Nation. Start Nation. What what's the question that I missed? Start nation. Uh, would you rather? Uh, would you rather be followed at all times by sixteen dwarves forming a pyramid, and constantly cursing at you, or by an owl that decides whether you are hot or cold depending on its mood? Uh, sorry, what? What? I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that question. That's a weird question. 
Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so. Anyway. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go use the restroom, so I'll be back in like two or three minutes. I think the next round's in about five minutes, maybe. Not sure, but I'll be right back. Okay, so back, back in black. Let's see. Um, still five four according to the uh, according to the um, settings or not settings. Sorry, according to the uh, standings on chess chess.com. So, so still still all the other games are in place. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. But actually, it looks like Sargissian's about to win against Yu Yang Yi. So. If he can pull that off, that would be uh, very, very big for the team, certainly. But again, all the games are still going, so I'm just kind of paying attention to Chess, chess TV on the other, other, other screen to see. Um, chess Jacob says coming to San Francisco for the finals. Um, First of all, I don't know exactly when the finals are. Um, I assume my team's not making it, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see, but maybe. Depends on the timing, of course, with everything else that's going on. But, but again, we'll, 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 we'll see what's going on. But still... Still 5-4, so, so everything's still still in play. So yeah, so once again, thank you, Eric Sharnowski, for the uh, for the donation. Um, let's see, so what else? Um, Epats33 says, do you watch hockey? Yes, I do actually watch hockey. Um, I'm a, I'm a huge hockey fan. Uh, I I grew up a Rangers fan, and then I was then I spent time up up north and north of the border in the best country in the world. Um, and I uh, I actually became a very big Canucks fan during my time there. Um, uh, I haven't really rooted much for them since. Unfortunately, I felt like management did a lot of bad things. So um, wasn't 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 really a fan. Now now that I'm down here in Florida, I've actually started following the Panthers quite a bit, and I'm rooting for them. Uh, I'm always going to be partial to the Rangers, but much like with the Canucks, I, uh, I I'm very disappointed in what management has done this during the season, basically selling off everyone, trying to get draft picks and, and rebuild. I think rebuilding is uh, they could have put it off longer. I don't think it was necessary right now, but. At any rate, um, I'm, I'm a big hockey fan. It's, it's probably my favorite sport. So uh, definitely uh, follow, follow, follow the Panthers, the Rangers sometimes. And if the Canucks ever get good again, I'll start following them too. So um, yeah, but, but, but go Canucks go. That's, that's the saying, of course. Um, but again, the only team that absolutely I can't stand uh, is certainly the uh, Canadians. They're just they're the worst team in the league. And no, nobody likes the Canadians. So um, thank you, Lodge, for the donation. Um, this this one's for Yaroslav Halak. Who is Halak playing for? I, I forget who he's the goalie for now. I mean, he was the goalie for the uh, for the I think it was the Canadians. Then he was the goalie for the uh, for the Blues. I don't know who, is 
Who's he, the goalie for now? Let's see. Who is he the goalie for? Is he still in the NHL? Ah, oh, he's with the Islanders. Okay. Oh, the Islanders. Ugh, another team that nobody likes. Ugh. What a terrible team. Anyway. Um, yeah, well, anyone who likes the Canadians, there's something wrong with you. All the Canadians do is flop all over the place. And they, they, they have a goalie who just whines all the time. So, no, I, I, I can't stand for the Habs. They're just terrible. I, I, I would root for the Bruins over the Canadians any day of the week. And I, I hate the Bruins. But the Canadians are just the worst. Just the absolute worst. Um, so, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so, so right. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, um, let's, let's see what's happening. So, I still see 5-4. I mean... I still see that the that there's some games going on. Um, it looks like against Argisian's probably still winning his game. Um, probably winning. Yeah, I, I think Sargissian's about to win. So looks like we're going to be up. We're probably going to be up going to last match. I assume if their board two beats uh, if our board two beats their board one, I would think so. Um, that was just my guess, but but again, we'll see. I'm still. I have Chess TV open in the other window, and that's uh, I'm just paying attention to that as well. So, um, but yeah, so it looks looks like we're doing well this this round. So it should be should be a decent result um, for this one. Uh, moving back to the questions, uh, um, what's this? Let's go Flyers, Canadians. Canadians seem like nice people. Canadians, for the most part, are great people. I, I, li I like Canadians a lot. It's just uh, the Quebecois folk are a little little bit weird. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you guys, uh, getting getting back to everything else, just paying attention. Um, let's see. So, who else is... Uh, Who else? Uh, I, I still see 5-4, so I don't know if the game's still going. I'm not going to load it because that's going to ruin the, the layout for the stream, but um, I'm, I'm going to assume that's over. I don't know yet, though. Let's see. Where Where is... Where is... Um, where is he? I don't... I don't Chess Pandas... It says online. Um, so I, I, I'm assuming he lost, and I'm, I'm assuming Sargissian won, so we should be up plus two. With two games still going, so I mean anything can happen, but um, but we'll we'll see. So, all right, you guys. Um, any other questions in the meantime? While I'm still, Sargissian won. So go Blackhawks. I mean, I, I like the Blackhawks who always. Uh, I've I've always liked the style of Kane and Taves, but um, I feel like this year they're not doing so well. But um, not certain. At any rate, um, <laughs> uh, two weeks, two weeks of Oslo says. Uh, or wait, sorry, sorry, wait. That's uh, sorry. Two week too slow says apple cider vinegar does wonders. I actually do like uh, I do like uh, like apple vinegar. It's it's quite amazing, in fact. Um, but it's I, I don't know where to get that in the states. I've only had that in like Japan and, and Asia actually. So it's, I'm sure I can find it some kind of some kind of store. But it's not something I have that often. Um, Smack my bishops says, do you play any other games besides chess? Um, I mean, I think that defines. I mean, what the definition is. I mean, do you mean by something to like uh, make money professionally for fun? And what kind? What do you mean by games exactly? Do you mean like? Uh, like Settlers of Catan, for example, or like, uh, I don't know, like Backgammon. Um, but I do play poker. I do play Backgammon. I do not play Settler, Settlers of Catan. That's the worst game ever, and anyone who plays that should be shot. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's, that's I play Backgammon and poker. Those are probably, like, other games that I play primarily. Um, uh uh, so I see some some other questions like uh, like um, uh, what what I saw I saw a question what's my favorite NBA team I, I think I discussed this before but I mean uh, there are a couple teams that I like right now I like uh, like um, 
the uh, the the Bucks obviously with the uh, Bucks are just amazing. Um, I guess I mean I don't really like the Rockets. I'm not a big fan of Harden, but I mean I guess I would probably root for them. Push comes to shove because I just I don't like the Cavs and I hate the hate the uh, Warriors. So it's you know whatever. Tal in Florence says which uh, Taryn Zerg or Toss? That's a good question. Um, depends. I mean I, I it depends on the map. I mean I think. Uh, I think overall, I mean, I'm probably best with Terran. I mean, I, 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 I'm just, I suck with Zerg. I, I'm terrible with Zerg. I just, I, I'm not any good with the Zerg. But, um, but, but yeah, like Protoss or, I mean, Protoss or Terran. I mean, probably, probably Terran. If, if, if I had to, if push comes to shove, it would be Terran. Because like, Protoss, I'm not, I'm not good at my uh, micromanagement at all. So I, I think probably, probably Terran would be my guess. So, um, uh, Snake Mayor says, at GMP Carbo, please talk more about how Atlanta is the best sports city. Um, I don't recall ever saying Atlanta was the best sports city, but, um, uh, you know. Um, Martin Her 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 Hernandez Pitsvila or I'm obviously mispronounced that says rooting for Portugal in the World Cup. Um, no, I would never root for Portugal simply because they have the guy who's who's just a total clown on their team. I mean, no nobody in the world should should root for Portugal because they have Ronaldo. I mean, I feel like the, all that guy lives for is like score a goal and like rip his shirt off. There's like nothing else that he he seems to do. So uh, no, I I am not a, not a fan of Portugal whatsoever. And of course, I also like uh, Barca, Messi. Messi is amazing. So, um, yeah. Anyway, moving on, I see there's some other questions. Chesspay says, at Jimmy Carr, do you know who Lex Veld who, who he is? Uh, unless I'm mistaken, he's, he's a poker pro, isn't he? Or am I mistaken? I think... Yeah, he... Okay, yeah, he's that poker pro. That's the, yeah, that, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, so... Yeah, I do actually know who he is. Um, I'm not sure what the question is. Um, is there a question in regards to that? Not sure, but anyway, okay, moving on. Holy mackerel, did we win three to one? Or yeah, we won three to one last round. So, okay, so we're up, um, we're up seven to, f wait, are we up seven? Six, four, seven, four. Wait, so if it was four, four, that means we won three, one. Wow, so we're up two going into the last round. Wow, that's epic actually. Wow, we're, we're up two? Yeah, because it was, actually it was four, four. So yeah, if we're up seven, Seven, uh, seven to five. We're up seven to five, so that means we're we're plus two going to the last match. So, uh, yeah, we're we're in the lead right now. So, um, look looking good. But the last game, I'm gonna assume should be starting soon. Maybe, maybe, it'll, maybe in like three minutes would be my guess. That would be my guess probably. Um. Oh, so, oh, so uh, Chesspay says Lex Veltus was hanging in the chess broad chat. I mean, I know who he is. I don't actually know him. I mean, I there are only a handful of uh, of uh, poker players that, that that I know personally. Um, I, I'm gonna assume he does he play chess or something, or is he? Uh, ah, he was a star, he was a StarCraft player. Okay. Okay. So so yeah. Um, Anyway, moving on. I uh, don't see any other questions. I think the game should be starting in like two minutes, if I'm not mistaken. But, but we'll see at any rate. So, yeah. So we'll we'll see. But just going to wait for the next game because it should be, I mean, it's got to start in two minutes, I would think, if I'm not mistaken. But, well, we'll see. And no, I cannot pronounce Giannis' last name, you guys. So, uh, <laughs> you're not going to get that, that one out of me. Um... Okay, so, yeah, so I'm just waiting for the last game to start. I mean, it should start in one minute. If, if everyone's done, it should be, uh, 
should start in, in like a minute or something. But uh, the John Sutcliffe says, "Can you do a handstand with your? Uh, can you do a handstand with your something or rather? I, I didn't. Oh, can you do a handstand with your feet? Um, no, I can't do a handstand. I haven't done enough yoga and I haven't done it in many years, so no, I cannot do that." Um, John Wick says, will you play Blitz after? Uh, probably not likely, because I'm, I'm still kind of a little bit tired and jet lagged. I only got back last night from, from Moscow, so I'm a little bit, little bit, little bit shaky. So probably I won't play Blitz, because I actually feel pretty tired. But, um, but yeah. Mavic says, you don't like the Canadians and people from Quebec. I think I will have to stop watching you. I, I like, uh, oh, did my game just start? Just, okay, so Yu Yang plays E4, so we're up by two, so I'm going to try to play very solid now. Um, so castles. Wow, he wants to play rookie one with his team down by two. That's a very interesting decision. I would not have expected this with, uh, but maybe he doesn't, e maybe he doesn't even know what the match score is, to be honest. That's also possible, too. I mean, it is possible he doesn't know what the match score is. And if he doesn't know what the match score is, then it's completely reasonable to play like this. But if he does know what the... If he did know the match score, I don't think he would be playing this opening. It's knight d2, I'll castle. Knight f3. I could play knight h4 here probably, but I'm just going to keep it solid and steady. Queen d7, rook e8, and then maybe d5 at some point. But if he goes d5, I get bishop f6 and a long diagonal. So, I mean, already I feel like I'm completely equal here. It's just to, just need to be careful not to allow any tricks, basically. And even knight h4 here looks... Yeah, why not? It looks fine. I'll pre-move it, because, I mean, I don't... He, maybe he'll take, maybe he won't, but... Um, I mean, this is already very, very flat. And and again, I'm guessing that if he's not following, he probably doesn't realize his team is down by two points here, is my guess. So that would be my guess, is that he doesn't realize his team's down by two, but um, you never know. So he plays rookie two, so I can take... Okay, fine. I'll just take the draw. I mean, if, he, if he's happy to take the draw, I mean, I don't really, I don't really have a choice here. It's very even. It's very flat. We're up two, we're up two points here. Like there, there isn't really a point to, uh, to doing anything insane. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's true. Actually, as Robin Honey says, he could also just not care. I mean, he did just lose a tough game to, uh, to Sargissian. So, I mean, I could see that. So, what to do? What to do? So someone says we won. I don't think we won yet because with my draw, we're only up by two and a half. But um, but it should be enough is my guess. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll hang around here um, to see what's happening. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, there's nothing I could do. If he, if he wants to just, just play boring and make a draw, what to do? What to do? And, and again, we're up by two points. I mean, I think that's the one thing that I learned. Uh, we had this match against Las Vegas, I think it was, where I lost this game to Dominguez in the last round. I think we were up by one point going to the final final, final round, and I lost that game, and that, then we ended up drawing the match. And I, I think what I learned from that that was that, like, it doesn't matter what the color is. You just you play solid if you're ahead, and you just you just hope for the best. You, you, you hope that your teammates will, will take care of business and everything will go the right way versus kind of taking some risks, trying to be... Trying to go insane and then, you know, then everything kind of going wrong. So, um, yeah. So, all right. So that's uh, three and another three and a half out of four. Uh, so, so pr pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah. So, all right. So then, yeah. I mean, I don't, don't know if I should still hang around until the match ends, you guys. I mean... Because since it's, if I if I try to if I try to load the other games and commentate something's gonna get messed up so um, yeah so let, let me see is there any one else um, okay let's see if I can play I'll play two two blitz games for you guys 
if I can, and we'll see. Okay, challenge us AWP, he declined. Um, who else is online? Shimonov, if he's not playing, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't see it. I don't, it doesn't look like anyone's, I mean, everyone's probably still playing or, or like done or something. So yeah, all right, you guys. So then in, th in that case, I think, um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night. So, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah. All right, you guys. So I hope that you, uh, you enjoyed, enjoy the stream. I try to do my best carry my team again i think we're probably gonna win i mean hopefully we do but um at any rate i uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the stream and um i'm not sure when i'll stream again next probably sometime soon next few days would be my guess but um no not not sure yet so at any rate you guys i uh, hope you enjoy it and you have a good evening and uh until next time keep it real